let's talk about this star, this star that of Bethlehem is what they're calling it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm laughing only because, of course, that's not what it is at all. But, yes, no. I know that it's, uh, it's, it, the, the brightest it's going to appear in the sky is on the 21st. And so they're talking about that being the Bethlehem star with Christmas on the 25th. But all this is is a natural conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter. Now, this actually happens about every 20 years. Hmm. But but some years are better than others. That right. is to say, it, it, it happens every 20 years, but sometimes the planets are just very close to each other, but you can still see it's two planets. But they're so close, it kind of causes a bright spot. And especially if your vision isn't that great, you'd see it as one versus two. Uh -huh. But some years, but some years... Um, they are so close that they practically appear to be one star to the naked eye. And what happens is Jupiter is in front, and Saturn it gets right behind it. And so the reflected sunlight off of Jupiter, which is kind of like Venus, it, there's a lot of light reflected, and it's very easy to see. Mm. And Saturn, though it is smaller, also reflects a lot of light and the rings and so on. And so what happens is these two uh, highly reflective planets um, conjunction together, meaning that they line up. And with Saturn behind Jupiter, it adds to the level of the light you see. Now, I've been pointing this out since uh, late October. Um, I was doing some presentations up in Maryland. We had some great clear skies. And I said, you want to see some gods? And they went, what? And I said, you want to see some gods? And we went outside, and you can see Mars, and you can see Jupiter and Saturn so close that it, it was almost as bright as Venus in appearance. Uh -huh. And that was before they got as close as they are now. Uh -huh. You know, right now they're lining up. Now, they haven't been this directly in line since 1623. That's 400 years ago. But they're going to be just as closely aligned in 57 years. Right. So those, of, those that are listening today uh, to the program and are, are younger, and if the Lord doesn't return and you live another 57 years, you're going to see it happen again. That's, so it, it, happens every, yeah, it happens every 20 years, but it's just that sometimes it's much better than other times in terms of this bright appearance. Yeah, I read one. I read one article where they said you'd have to go back to March fourth, twelve twenty six, the year twelve twenty six, to see a closer alignment between uh, these two uh, planets, Jupiter and Saturn, which which is amazing. And um, but every how many fifty? What did you say? Fifty seven years? No, no, that's the next one that's going to be this good. Oh, okay, I got. But you. but it'll happen again. It's roughly every 20 years. Jupiter's orbit is 11.9 years of our years to make one orbit of the sun. But Saturn is much further away, and it takes almost 30 years. And so Jupiter goes around roughly every 12, and Saturn goes around roughly every 30. And, and every 20 years or so, they'll be in alignment where they're close together. But sometimes they're six degrees apart. Mm -hmm. This particular year, they're only going to be one tenth of a degree apart in vision. Wow! And so, with just a good pair of binoculars, you're going to get a spectacular view. But even with a good pair of binoculars, you'll still see it's two planets and not one. Um, but in the life of Jesus, this occurred at least once and possibly twice in his own lifetime. But it's mm -hmm. not the Star of David. No, no, it's not. Uh, this is just a natural occurrence of the orbit of these planets and yeah. uh, a natural conjunction roughly every 20 years. And it's definitely not the the um, star of Bethlehem. <laughs> Absolutely not. You know, the star of Bethlehem, uh, people want to say, oh, it was a comet. It was a, mm -hmm. a star. But God is a light giver. Yes, he is. God could create this light that appears as a star in the sky is simply a, a temporary miracle. Mm -hmm. Well, the Bible says that, that he is light and in him there is no darkness. Well, 
exactly. 